Hey fellow backyard boyers, Nick here. I've been looking through the comments and I've noticed a lot of requests for a tomahawk or a fighting axe. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this tomahawk out of a $4 ads that I picked up at a garage sale. This is a salt style tomahawk where the blade is actually inset into the wooden handle. So here it is. Let's get started. And here's the ads we'll be using today. This will become the head of the tomahawk and we'll be shortening this to make our handle. Now that I have my steel, I've gone ahead and drawn out the basic shape of my tomahawk head. From the edge to the spike, it's seven and a half inches and the edge is three inches long. Now I can take the angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and cut the head to shape. Once I've got the basic shape cut out, I take the grinding wheel on my angle grinder and grind it and refine the shape. We're going to be doing a little bit of forging on this piece. So while grinding, I make sure to round off all the square edges just so that I don't have any cold shuts later. Now that the head is ground to shape, I start heating up the cutting edge with my propane torch. Once it gets up to forging temperature, I make sure to flatten it first. And once it's flat, I start working on bringing out my edge bevel. I'm starting to draw the edge out, and I'm also drawing it out a little bit at the top. Once I'm happy with the shape of the edge, I turn the head around and start forging out my spike a little more. I'm just trying to make it a little bit longer. Once that's done, I do a final heat just to make sure that everything is even and then I put it in some perlite to let it cool. After forging, this is what the head looks like. It's gone from seven and a half inches in length to eight and a quarter inches. So now I'm going to take it on my bench grinder and grind it to shape. I'm refining the outline of the head, making sure everything is nice and smooth, and I'm also starting to refine my bevel. I've already forged in most of the bevel, so it's just a little bit of cleanup with the grinder. Once I'm done grinding, I move it over to my flap sanding wheel and further refine the shape and just smooth everything down to prepare for heat treat. Now it's time for heat treatment. I start by heating the head up just until the point where a magnet will no longer stick to it. I heat it up just a little bit beyond that and then quench it in warm oil. Once it's been quenched, I let it cool completely. Then I clean off the steel again. And then with a torch, I gently temper it back until I get a nice blue in the center. Once that's done, I take it to my oven, preheated for 450 degrees, and leave it for about an hour to two hours until I get the color I want. Once the head is tempered, I clean it off with the flap sanding wheel and bring it down to its final shape. Now we can start working on the handle. With the saw, I cut the handle down to 19 inches. I also cut the bottom just to change the grip shape a little bit. Then I take it to my orbital palm sander and I rough out the shape of the handle, refine everything and bring it down to bare wood so I can start fitting the axe head to the handle. Once the handle is sanded to shape, I use a quarter inch drill bit to start roughing out the socket for the head to go in the handle. I'm working about an inch from the end and going about halfway in one direction then turning around and going halfway through the other. Then I can use files to clean out the inside until the head fits snugly inside of the socket. I drill four 1 8 inch holes through the handle and the head. That way we can pin this together later. 
Now that the holes are drilled, I take the handle back to the palm sander and go up through the grits, making sure to smooth out the handle and finish it off as best as I can, going from about 60 to 1000 grit sandpaper. Once it's completely smooth, I finish the handle off by buffing it with beeswax. Now that the handle is finished, I put the axe head back in place and then put four brass pins into the holes that we drill. I center them, trim them to length, and then gently peen them over with a hammer so that they hold in place. A quick wrap of artificial sinew and the tomahawk is finished. Here's the tomahawk all finished up. I hope you had fun building this along with me today and if you have any suggestions for future builds or other videos you'd like to see please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more projects you can check out my channel for other projects like this and I've also written several books on different topics and you can check out the links to those in the description below. So thanks for watching, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!